So, uh, well, we've had great talks this morning, um, and we've all seen, uh, to some extent, what AI can do to uh, for our lives these days. And you see it everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Um, you see it in self-driving cars, although not quite on the road yet, and autonomous drones, which can follow us around and take the perfect picture. Um, it can do real-time language translation. And these are just you know, a few examples of what AI can do, and it's only just going to get better and better. Uh, but it's not all perfect in the world of AI at the moment. Uh, the AI that we have at the moment is actually what you call narrow AI. <clears throat> and uh, this is AI that's actually been developed to do one very specific task, um, and it can do that task extremely well. So for example, it could play a game of chess uh, so well that it can actually uh, exceed human levels, but it can't do anything else. It can't go off and transfer its learning to a different, do a different domain, which is something that humans can do extremely easily. So it can't do artificial general intelligence. It can't take its uh, information or its understanding or its learnings from one domain and apply it to another domain. So this is one of the issues that we have in AI these days. And the other major problem is that AI seems to be controlled or is becoming controlled by just a handful of very large corporations. And these are the same corporations that are controlling the web at the moment. Uh, the web has evolved over the last 30 years. Um, and it's evolved in a particular way, in a sort of capitalistic way, uh, whereby you have one or two, or like a handful, of very large platforms. And they have their own objectives. Now, we don't want that same thing to happen to AI. We think AI is too powerful a technology to be controlled by just a handful of companies. So that, this is why we've, um, we've started SingularityNet, is to tackle these two problems simultaneously. Um, we believe that the path to AGI is not going to be a single AI algorithm, some magic AI algorithm that can suddenly perform and do things uh, way better than it can right now. What we believe uh, is the way to AGI is... Uh, uh, so it's enabling a number of different AIs to come together and work together. And by doing that, and having all those different AIs work together, we think we'll get to AGI. We also don't want, as I, I, as I mentioned, AI to be necessarily in the hands of uh, a few or a handful of very large corporations. What we want is to develop a, a, a decentralized, democratic, open platform uh, where developers from all around the world can participate. Um, an environment where they will be compensated for their AI um, with through our AGI tokens, and the benefit will go to everyone, not just a, a handful of people, and it won't be going to a closed system. Now, we at SingularityNet have been working on building the platform for the last year since the token generation event, um, and I'm happy to announce that we've actually gone and launched our beta. So with the beta, We've, uh, we've got a DAP uh, that people can use, uh, a user interface that they can use to access 40 seed AI algorithms that we've placed um, on the platform. And these range from s uh, data signal processing, uh, natural language processing, uh, time series analysis, object detection, video captioning. Uh, one of them, one of the examples, is this one here, where a user has uploaded an image, uh, and we've run an object detection algorithm on it. It's successfully detected the two objects in that image, the motorcycle and the car. Just to delve in a little bit deeper into the platform, um, that first component that I showed you is the DAP. There's also an SDK. Um, the SDK can be used by software developers to, to include or calls to our AI on SingularityNet. Each of the agents on the net uh, is paired with a daemon, and that daemon is its interface to the rest of the platform. And that includes accessing uh, the blockchain components, the two smart contracts. So we have the registry, uh, which is used by the service, provided, uh, service providers to register their 
AI and the multi-party escrow, which is what's used for the payments. Now, we've already uh, started to apply the AI on SingularityNet uh, in a number of different projects. Uh, one of them is with Hanson Robotics, which is one of our long-standing partners. And they're the creators of Sophia the Robot, the very famous Sophia the Robot, who's got probably some of the most realistic facial features uh, of anyone that we know, uh, in terms of robot, that is. Um, and this year, what we're going to be doing is upgrading her mind with a singularity net powered mind. So that's an example in the robotics. We also have our partners at Motsai who do analysis on healthcare. And in particular, what they do is they do human, uh, human genome uh, analysis. And they're currently working on a project looking at supercentenarians. Uh, these are people who live over 110 years old. Uh, we've got the genome data for about 30 of these subjects. And Mozai are using that data, the, the SNPs, which are these small components of the human genome, um, and trying to identify the, the uh, factors that may attribute their longevity. Uh, this is a really difficult problem to actually tackle. Um, you've got about 20,000 SNPs that they're actually looking at, and they're looking at combinations of those SNPs to try and determine what causes or what attributes their uh, longevity. And given the very, very small sample size of only 30, it's a very, very tall task. However, they're using one of our AI agents called Moses, which is a program learner, um, and they're getting some very good results. And they'll be publishing a paper uh, shortly, uh, later this year. Uh, another example is with our partners at Hara. So Hara um, is uh, it's a blockchain project uh, based in Indonesia. And what they're doing is they're trying to uh, help the farmers and the food industry in Indonesia. And the way they're trying to help them is by providing high quality data that can be used uh, to help with uh, identifying the causes and improving the crop yield. Um, the way they're doing this is very interesting. What they're doing is they're incentivizing field agents, um, the farmers, the cooperatives, to actually provide high-quality data to Hara themselves. Hara will go off and, and pay uh, these individuals or organizations with their token. Hara then goes off and validates this data. They have data qualifiers who will go off and check that the data is of high quality. And once they've got this data, they go off and, and sell it to other organizations that will find that data useful. Uh, organizations such as the government, um, banks, insurance companies, uh, fertilizer companies, etc. And the way we're getting involved is that at SingularityNet, we're taking this very high quality data set and applying our AI to it. Uh, in particular, we're using it for plant disease detection. Uh, and also, we're using it to optimize yields, um, uh, crop yields, uh, using a variety of data, including the usage of fertilizer and insecticides, the weather conditions, the different soil compositions, etc. So these are, are three example projects that we're working with very closely with. We're also, I mean, we also understand that um, you know, the usage on SingularityNet, we've only got 40 AI agents at the moment, but we can really bootstrap this if we can get a lot of demand. And one way to get that demand is by having an organization whose primary purpose is to develop products, AI products, using agents from SingularityNet. And, and that company is Singularity Studio. So this is a little startup that we're partnering with. Um, and they are going to focus on delivering AI solutions, AI products in four verticals using AI uh, agents from SingularityNet. The four verticals are FinTech, HealthTech, Enterprise and IoT. And in addition to those four verticals, uh, we're going to be working on um, some core products which will span across all four verticals. Uh, one of those core products is 
a natural language chat interface that will interface uh, across any, any one of these uh, vertical specific products. One of the vertical specific products that we have is, um, is something that's actually geared towards human resources and, and management in large corporations. Um, is we're calling it Studio People Analytics. Um, the idea is that uh, large corporations are becoming increasingly decentralized these days. And that causes a number of problems, one of which is that you have uh, people working remotely and they get disengaged. And people don't know that there's a problem until it's actually too late, until they're actually one foot out the door. So what this tool aims to do is to identify where there may be some sort of frustrations or some issues uh, arising and, and try to, to resolve those issues before, before it becomes too problematic. It can be done at the department level, at the team level, and also at the individual level, where it can be used to help with the professional development of, of resources, of employees. What we can do is we can get a, a map of the skills of an individual and see how it's tracking through time and see how it matches with uh, their objectives, their career objectives. And then the, the idea is not to spy on people, but actually to try and help them with their development uh, and try and find resources that might be able to help bridge any gaps that they may have, either technical or, or non-technical, like leadership skills. So these are um, a, a few examples of the solutions and products and partners that we have. We also know that we're not alone um, with the objective of promoting decentralized AI. We've got a number of other organizations um, and projects who have got similar objectives. And to that end, we've uh, created an alliance, the, D the, the DIA, the Decentralized AI Alliance. Uh, and amongst them is uh, Bitspace, is one of our partners. Um, now, AI is a, a fantastic space, and it's going to impact probably every single vertical that we have. Um, and if you'd like to get more information about how SingularityNet is actually helping in that space, have a look at our beta and our white paper. Thank you very much. Thanks.